and welcome to our weekly Facebook Live. Someday we're gonna use a sewing machine again, no, but today is feels not. Feels like it's been that a little while day. since we sewed. But um, not really. I mean, I sewed this morning. I didn't because I even got okay. I even got up super early this morning because my husband woke up crazy early, and but we had loaded my sewing machine out of the cabinet into the car so I could drop it off. To oh, might as well get it serviced while you're and, out of town, right? Um, so while I had two hours before I got the kids ready for school, my swing machine was not set up. It was really kind of frustrating. I didn't you know, know you have more than one. Up. I know, but then I'd have to set it up. It's just not. Anyway. Anyway. Good morning. Morning, everybody. Good. Liz is trying to find us. Okay. So our theme for February was, is, it's is still February. It's still February. I forgot to disconnect from my parents' Wi-Fi. Sorry. So we're talking about our favorite things. And today we're going to talk about our favorite pre-cut. Now, we like pre-cuts in general. They are, they are always a favorite because I like different fruit pre-cuts for different, for different things. things. I suck at favorites. You're right. What's the most versatile? And so, um, yeah. So, my, like, I love pre-cuts. So, you know, they're a great way to get a sampling of a lot of different fabrics that coordinate without having to buy a lot of fabric because I'm a huge fan of controlled scrappy. Right. And that's because I love scrappy. I love having a million different fabrics in a project. I but don't they love when they together. don't all perfectly coordinate because I'm right. OC anal. Yeah. Whatever you so, want to call it. So we like, wow. Um, it is so not working. Okay. I'm going to find it a different way. All good. We're all good. Hold on. I'm going to check oh, something. there. I found it. Hey, we <laughs> found us. I was just, just like, I was like, where did I uh, hit go? Anyway. Okay. So, but as far as like the most versatile pre-cut, I would say it's the fat I'm quarter. I'm going to stick with the fat quarter. Um, I mean, two and a half inch strips. They're awesome. There are a lot of projects built around those. Layer cakes. Layer cakes are stackers. my favorite. Um, Super one of my favorite stash builders. The charm packs are really fun when you love a fabric line, but you're not going to go in too deep or and you just want to do something quilt. small. Awesome. Um, that we'll aids can be great for controlled scrappy, but as far as like well, stash building, a fat aid bundle usually will make a quilt. Oh yeah. But you know, I have with a fat quarter bundle this big made a quilt, five pillows, right? A, a table skirt. runner and a four foot square tree skirt. So all out of a bundle. Like I didn't even buy background fabric, guys. Um, so there's a lot there's that we a can lot of do. fabric there. But they're also great because they're bigger for bags and other projects. So what is a fat quarter? What is a fat quarter? So we see these fat quarters are all folded up cute in every shop we go into. It's like this. Sometimes there's stars. I didn't bring any of our star bundles. Oh, but, I like our star oh, bundles. No. I was in a hurry. Um, okay. But a fat quarter is a quarter of a, a yard, quarter yard double wide. But so, cut chubby. So <laughs> cut chubby, exactly. So a quarter of a yard is nine inches by the 42 40, to 44 right, with, with the, the fabric. fabric. So when we do a fat quarter, instead of nine inches, we cut 18. So we cut a half yard and you get half the width of the fabric. Right. Half of a half of a yard. So that's why we call it a fat quarter. If you're unfamiliar with fat eighth, it's nine by 22 instead of where Which makes of a it yard is. half. Of a quarter of a yard. Sorry, we get you guys with numbers, and I know you love us. Fractions are awesome. Um, but so this is a fat quarter. It's approximately, I'm gonna say approximately, approximately. right there, um, 18 by 22. Um, very few patterns will use every last bit of that because it's slightly irresponsible. Because a fat quarter is, like I said, it's an approximate like, approximate fabric. Not, we've said it before. Every time you fold fabric, every time we rewind fabric, every time we do anything. It distorts because it's you're messing with the weave a little bit it's an organic, organic product. product it's going to adjust i mean you wash it you steam it anything like that will adjust the size of it so they are approximately 18 by 22 usable um, space i'm going to say about 17 by 21 is what so you can i wrote a pattern planning to use a whole fat quarter right i planned on 17 by 21. That's really the safe bet, just so because that, you, that I know you should have, um, especially so you can square it up, trim it, but get it I exactly had, right. I would never write a pattern that 
promises to use more than that of a fabric. Now we're gonna talk about one pattern that gets really close and she's very specific on how you cut it in order to use, which be I as judicious love. as possible because it's gonna use so much of it. But okay, fat quarter bundles, I know if you guys come into the shop or any shop that you've ever been to, you or see all of these giant stacks of fabric. Some of them are like this guy and they're huge. There's 40 fabrics in this. Some of which them will make like 12 quilts. Also huge like this, but include a panel at the bottom. This is the Solana one. You guys remember our garden wall quilt that was double-sided? Jen made that entire quilt front and back with this because this. the panel's in it, and she used some of the fat quarters on the front and all the rest right on the back. these light-colored ones, that one made the front. See these? That made the back. The white was kind of dispersed between them. And so, like, this is great. And sometimes our fat quarter bundles, if you see a big chunk on the bottom, that's the panel. Right. That goes with it. Sometimes um, a lot of companies, their fabric lines tend to be around 21. 21 yeah, 20 to 21 fabrics instead of, you know, 40. So you'll see them about more this like size. this size. 20 fat quarters is perfect for a ton of projects that we're going to show you today. Right. Because 20 is a great number. There's some smaller ones. These three right here I'm going to show you. You guys know I like my bright colors because that's right. how I am. Um, I think they're fantastic stash builders. Um, blender fat quarter bundles are mm -hmm. super popular or they make great projects like the exploding heart that you guys have seen all over because she's doing her so long <laughs> right and I love that quilt. I love seeing all the different um, versions. And those are fun with like these blender type fat quarter bundles where you're not looking for the big fancy prints or something you're looking for that pop of color. And these colors and are these all designed to work together. Rainbow saturated. So it's but not like having yeah. the wrong color mixed in there. Now these for instance, these are ones you'll see with the little measuring tape reason, rib, ribbon, I'm good, uh, that we curate in the shop. So some of them are listed online with the picture. We don't always get them all online. We do our best, but we do try. Okay. Um, so we have a lot of those where they are curated by us in our shop. These ones clearly are because they're perfect. <laughs> they come curated from the by the manufacturers. That's a lot of times why we do the stars because they're a lot more forgiving than the rectangles. Yeah, I know. I'll be you love us anyway. Okay, so what do we do with the fat quarter, right? Because we got all of these cute little squares of fabric, and as much as Jen and I enjoy decorating our sewing rooms with fat quarter bundles, because right. we, do, we do, I would be if, lying if I didn't. If I said I that all these pretty piles on my shelf at don't least just make me happy. Half of my stash is just fat quarter bundles because they're pretty. Well, plus I can and I make have... something out of just a fat quarter bundle. I don't need exactly. anything else. Okay, so favorite projects. Let's pull up. I want to talk about. There's a specific designer, and I love all of her fat okay, quarter I'm projects. Gonna pull and Jen's going to pull a couple of her patterns. Um, Camille Ross Kelly of Thimble Blossoms. Okay. Also of Bonnie and Camille. Bonnie and Camille. And I'm going to tell you why I love. These are three of her fat quarter patterns that I love. There's the light hearted. Jen and I used it as a background a couple weeks ago. But this is her color glass way. fabric. Mine was out of Alice in Glass. It was like this. It was awesome. And this is her Hello Sunshine. You might have seen that I one in the shop. And her very classic swoon. This is one of the first quilts I made. Yes. Now, the reason that I love her patterns for fat quarters is when you open them up, she has a cutting diagram all the time that shows you exactly how to get all of your pieces out of that fat quarter. Mm -hmm. And if you follow them, you will never have a problem. And I think that that's brilliant. And I love it. But even um, like this one, this is a huge quilt. It's 16 fat quarters. So you grab a little pile like this. And you have plenty. And you've got plenty. In fact, you can get, I used more than 16 because I used some extras in um, the, the extra little stars. So, and Swoon, this is a huge quilt. It's 80 by 80 and it uses 18 fat quarters and background. Yep. And so it's really kind of fun to curate on your own or you can use part of a collection. The fun part about a stack of like 40 like this is it'll make two. Right. You, can, you can get two quilts out of Better this. Better you add shams and or, yeah, or all the other projects. Add, which is things. fun too. So she's one of my favorites. Another one who does several fat quarter projects is Vanessa Gerritsen of Layla Boutique. Um, we have several of her patterns and books. And she, she's wonderful. She has like the Charm School books and the Jelly. The Baby Charm. Yeah, yeah. she's great. Um, this is one of our favorites. And this is the one that I was talking about. It's called Aviator. It's the airplanes. I made mine bigger for my son's bed because... He has a poster in his room, and somehow I decorated his home or, whole room around it. Twice. Or my bad. Twice. 
or something. You decorated, decorated it as a nursery and then as a big boy room. big boy room. Anyway, it's the Wright Brothers flight, and so it's all airplanes. Anyway, um, but this pattern is a fat quarter pattern, and the fat quarters are the background and the, the airplanes, and so it's 16 fat quarters to make the whole quilt. But this is the one where you have to cut very, very judiciously. She's going to use all but an inch of that back quarter. But same thing, she has a cutting diagram. And I love that. Anytime I can find a pattern with a cutting diagram, great. Because that tells you the pattern writer seriously thought through it. So I love these guys. Right. A couple other favorites, Corey Yoder's Marketplace. Fig this tree. one's one of my favorites from Fig Tree. In fact, I have this back quarter bundle sitting at home. Right. Joanna Figueroa. Waiting Figueroa. to make it. Uh, this is this all. Um, and this is another Gracie Larson. Like Gracie Larson. She does great patterns. But this one is called Blossom. And it's a really simple quilt, actually. It's a lot simpler than it looks. And, and these are hard for you guys to see. They make great instructions. But some more popular ones, Harvest Star Inkling. These are both Patchwork. by Patchwork and Poodles. Great. They have a lot of different size Poodles. options. Patchwork and Poodle, yeah. And oh, so her yeah. different size options, this is one of my favorite reasons on this, is you got four fat quarters, 9, 12, 16, 24, 36, all depending how big you're going to make this sucker. That's awesome. Okay, a couple of books. There are a lot of great fat quarter books out there. We're just going to show you two today. This one is from Moda All Stars. Basically, Which several of the Moda pattern writers, writers. And, and fabric designers have all submitted some of their patterns into this to make this book. So these are all going to be fat quarter quilts or projects. So, so there's some pillows and table runners in there too. Mm -hmm. But they're all based on the use of a fat quarter. So if you have some in a stash and you're looking for something to do with it, this is a really good option that moves beyond a turning point. Yes. Now, one of our favorite books, and this one we've got a promo for for you today, is 12 Pack Quilts. This is where um, our... This diamonds. diamonds quilt came from. It's called 12 Carrots. I'm going to show it to It's done up in the book in oranges, and it looks like carrots. C-A-R-R-O-T-S. Yeah. So this it's was orange. one from me and my sister. They used the uh -huh. me and my sister fabrics, which looks nothing like this, because mine's Tula. But um, these are all based on having 12 back quarters, and that's it. So it's not like you need a massive... You don't have to buy a giant bundle. Well, and some use more background than others. Liz's background is simply is this. this. My white setting diamonds and the border. It was the only thing I added on top of my 12 fat quarters for this quilt. And so we love this book because it's one where, like I said, you don't have to buy the 40 stack. Right. Although I love the 40 stack. You can curate your own bundle of 12. You can use a smaller bundle. You can take a bundle of 20 and leave the white ones out. Because heaven knows the white ones are fantastic for your low volume scrappy. Right. I collect them. Um, also, one thing we're going to talk about real quick. You'll notice that the prices on fat quarter bundles are all over the map. That's because they're based on how many fat quarters are, are in, in the there. bundle. So I can't tell you offhand how much fat quarter bundles are. Because it's going to depend... <laughs> Eight on how many are on in it. quantity? Are there twenty four skews? Are there thirty seven skews? Are there forty two skews? Well, like this one has a metallic, and so the price those are premium a little higher because the yardage price is a little higher. Yeah, so it kind of they vary a little all bit over here. I think this one's like twenty eight. Yeah, see, good yeah, job. I made this bundle, so I should know. Um, and this one's like one one thirty nine, but that's because it's forty skews plus a panel, right? So that's a lot. They vary quite a bit. But they, um, they're um they going to be a little all over the place. I mean, we sell them individually in the shop all over. Uh, but those aren't listed online. Because yes, our individual fat quarters are not on yeah, the website. I mean, as I fun wish... as it would be to add 1,400 of those to the website, that's not. That's not. Um, we are people. Right. Um, anyway, so the promo I want to share with you guys. We're going to start a sale today running through the weekend. And that is, first of all, all of our Fat Quarter bundles are 15% off. And all of our individual Fat Quarters in the shop, so local friends, pay attention to this one. It's um, buy 10, get 12, because we like our 12-pack books. And if you do that... Or you, if you buy a Fat Quarter bundle. Or if you buy a Fat Quarter bundle, minimum purchase about $35, $36. You can get 25% off the book. 
What was that coupon code? She told me what it was. Oh, our I sister mean, sent us a coupon code. Yeah. We're supposed to tell you what it is. Let's tell you what it is. Um, Back to text message line. So yeah, we are going to be having a special running today through Saturday on all of our Fat Quarters and Fat Quarter bundles. So the coupon code for the book is 12FQ25OFF. I'll post it after we get done with this right. video. Um, so if you buy about a $35 bundle, you can get the book 25% off. If you come to the shop and buy 12 fat quarters, you can get the book 25% off. And two of those and fat two quarters are going to be free. fat quarters are free. And all the bundles are 15% off through the weekend. And uh, we love fat quarters. They're fun. And mm -hmm. seriously, tell me this is a gorgeous decoration for the wall <laughs> of your sewing room. It just really, a bookcase full of fat quarter bundles is... Right. A very, very happy thing for me. Because <laughs> I am like that, I guess. Um, true. Anyway, all good. So, anything else we want to talk about with fat quarters? Um, no. This is just one of our favorite pre-cuts, so we wanted to share it with you. And why it's one of our favorites. I love it. Favorite. Like, seriously, I chopped up. I had to prep stuff to teach a bunch of girls how to make masks last night. And it seriously took me 10 minutes to prep 30 something masks out of 16 fat quarters. Cause yeah. you're just cutting a bunch of eight inch squares. It was For super 12. fast. And because it's the fat quarters, they just, and I had 16 fat quarters hiding in my That's stash all shocking. over the place. So it took no effort at all. So I, yeah, I love them because they're, like I said, they're super versatile. And okay. if you just need a little bit of fabric, they're like 325. So. Yeah, and I, I like that they're bigger than the uh, standard quarter yard. When it comes, you'll find a lot of smaller bags ask for fat quarters. Because they want 10 inches or because 12 inches. Because they want 10 inches mm -hmm. of fabric or something. So they're really versatile for bags and other things beyond quilt land. Yep. All right. So thanks for joining us. Next week, it's going to be Jen on her own. It's going to be just me. Sorry, I'm going on vacation. I apologize, but I don't want to feel bad. Um, so <laughs> I'm, pre I'm prepping for her for next week. Though, right. So She's I'll doing do all the work. I just have to do it. So um, you'll see her next week. And I'm talking um, about one of our favorite techniques. Definitely one of Jen's favorites. Liz has it too, but Jen's better at it. I'll admit to that. And, um, We'll yeah. see. Uh, and it's got lots of tools and tricks, and she knows them all. So it's going to we'll be great. We'll, we'll have fun. She'll do it next week. She'll I will be maybe else. check in from where I am. We'll see. <laughs> all right. We'll see, see you later. Be bothered. All if right. You can be bothered. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Have a good one, you guys.